Well, Cliff Enico, man, you're an author, a lawyer, a syndicated columnist, you got books out, <laughs> you're, you're helping us get through the legal waters of, of entrepreneurism and all this kind of stuff. But more importantly, you got a book out now that's going to help us, you know, get through crowdfunding to start a business because the laws of change is going to burst on the scene and everybody and his brother is going to be into this and you know all the new rules don't you uh, what's said, going to happen and all well this my life well, my wife says that i'm a legend in my own mind man uh, <laughs> so, uh, that's well you have to understand you're talking to a guy who writes law books for a hobby so that tells I, you a little bit about <laughs> me and my social life and everything like that but uh, but this is a major development man. Yeah. the laws are changing now in a very big way really for the first time in almost a hundred years now it's going wow. to be possible for startup and early stage companies entrepreneurs to mm. to promote their companies and raise capital publicly using yeah. you know general advertising methods crowdfunding and all that um, the jobs act which congress packed and passed in 2012 um, you know authorized the, the, really opened the floodgates now to a lot of new fundraising things you now can legally raise capital on the internet for the very first wow. time and, we're, and that's a very exciting development but also more than that, it seems like, you know, if you were a private company, uh, you wanted to, you know, go public or whatever, you have to get these lawyers and pay hundreds of thousands of dollars or whatever to follow all these rules. Right. Now that's gone. Gone. I mean, <laughs> you can well, go for almost it's nothing. Not, it's not totally gone. Right. Uh, but by it, it's a fraction. When we talk about this, of course, yeah. whenever, the, yes, whenever the government gives you something with one hand, Matt, you know right. they always take it away with the other. So <laughs> right. we're going we're gonna to talk a little bit about the rules. Yeah. But it's a lot easier than it used to be. Right. Uh, you know, the, the, one of the biggest law changes, uh, Matt, you know, it used to be that you you could if you were a privately owned company unless you did an IPO you could not offer your stock to people uh -huh. that you didn't know I see, uh, right. everything had to be prearranged you know mm -hmm. in a very specific it was a very specific and dance IPO that you had is to one do. of those things like uh, Facebook does and all this stuff. you know you had to be in the in crowd to do right that's right exactly yeah. now I mean I'll, I'll give you an example when eBay went public in 1996 I think it was uh, the founder Pierre Omidyar wanted to, to issue a special class of stock to his sellers to the people that were selling stuff online ah, and I the see. rules at that time prohibited him from doing that he I couldn't see. do it he had to go through the the big investment banks yeah. on Wall Street and all of that. There you had to belong to a country club that to he do had that. to do. <laughs> and so as a result, long, yeah. a lot of his people got left out of the offering. And these yeah. are the people that he these were his fans. These are the people that right. he wanted to reward for yeah. their loyalty to the company. Now under the new rules, a guy like Piero Omidyar would be able to do something mm -hmm. like that. But uh, more importantly, the, the average small business with not you know sitting on millions of dollars or hundred thousands of dollars now could get into that. And particularly more so when the rules are about to become easier in a few Correct. months hopefully or whenever that happens and that's, that's when exactly the right important that's stuff the exciting thing companies can now reward their friends and family ah. and their customers and their suppliers right. and their fan base in a way that mm -hmm. they couldn't before and that's right. what's really exciting about this this mm -hmm. whole development and, and so it will be now uh, the the SEC is working on the final rules so I mean like people could you could get you know a hundred a couple hundred bucks or a couple thousand bucks from almost anybody <laughs> now yeah that's the thing to, to be exactly. an owner yeah. And, let's, and let's talk about that a little bit. There's two pieces to this, uh, uh -huh. Matt. And then let's talk about this. The first piece is what we call Title II. This is Title II of the Jobs Act. And this is now, this is in existence now. We're not uh -huh. waiting for anybody. You can do this now. If you're looking to raise money for a startup or early stage company now, you can solicit funds uh -huh. using ge what they call general solicitation, methods of general but advertising. Now, this is not At crowdfunding like Kickstarter. This is crowdfunding for investors. Right. This is right. crowdfunding for investors. That's that's right. right. Yeah. And as long as you admit only what they call accredited investors, people Fat who cats. have a lot of money, right. Right. <laughs> Fat cats, people with, uh, with, with deep pockets, people who yeah. are like Wall Street insiders, people right. that know what they're doing. Right. See, the whole purpose of this, you have to understand, Matt, the securities laws are really just consumer protection laws. Right. That's all they are. Their right. job is to prevent average people from losing all their money uh, from fraudulent tricksters. That, that, right, that's, some late guys on late night TV. Right. <laughs> yeah, late night information. Guys like, basically, guys like this.
Right. The SEC is there to protect them. Because right. There's a lot yeah. of fraudulent promoters out there with right. all kinds of crazy ideas and stuff. And the, and the securities laws are there to protect them, yeah. uh, the investor. That's what they're there for. So the idea is the, the, the accredited investor doesn't need that kind of protection. This is right. somebody who knows what they're doing. They're a sophisticated investor. You know, and the laws don't really – they don't need those protections. Mm -hmm. So that's the whole idea. As long as you only admit those people into right. your inner circle, so for the average you, person, are, you are legal. Yeah. Now. But for the average person, that's good. Good now because I could be a small business and now find those people easier than before. Right? That is correct. Right, there right. are angel networks online, right. you so know, tons of angels online. and stuff right. like that. Angel.co is one of the right. big ones. Uh, Angel.co. So now you can do that. You can go to these people and say, hey, I got a cool new startup company, right. you know, run it by the network. And yeah. as long as you yeah. only admit, you got to be careful. Right. You have to make sure that these people are indeed right. accredited. Right. You, you can't just assume just because somebody comes in and says, hi, I'm a millionaire. Right. You can't <laughs> just trust that. You got to get, you have to get like a questionnaire yeah. somewhere from them. Right. Yeah. Do some research, look at their tax returns, yeah. but that's well, what you do. You actually, anyway. the website handles a lot of that when you find yeah. the websites to do it on. So With now that's advanced, what's right, now. Exactly. But now what's going to be soon is I could be a little investor and get in on the next, okay. you know, Facebook or whatever. <laughs> Let's talk about this. Is the second piece. This is yeah. type, what they call Title Three. I'm right. just using these names because it makes it easier to describe. Right. Title Three is the section of the Jobs Act that says you can use a crowdfunding portal. That's right. like a that's like a a, a specialized a website, website right, yeah. to raise money from your Facebook fans, your family, uh -huh. your 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 Twitter followers. Mm -hmm. You can now leverage social media to raise right. money, and you don't have to worry about whether or not they're accredited investors. But they but, become owners. Yeah. They're not like see my problem. Is, a lot of people will think of crowdfunding now. Oh, I'm putting money into businesses, but that's different. No, what you know, is, and that's not true. Let's talk about that. Yeah. I have seen Kickstarter campaigns right. for you know business type things. You right. have to understand, Matt. You are not investing exactly, in right. that company. You're not right. getting stock. Exactly. You're not getting bonds. Because right. legally, right now, there's still some. They can't. These, right. these rules have to be developed. <laughs> yeah. So what will happen in the future is that you'll be able to be. Oh, uh, what will happen in the right. future? Future, you'll be able to be an equity holder, own stock in a company. That's what see. That's right. what's changing. See, right now, if you're if you're in, in doing a crowdfunding investing on one of these things, you're really making a gift to right. the company. Yeah. You're making a donation to them and maybe right. they'll give you a little tchotchke or they'll give right. you one of their products or something like that, <laughs> right. which is fine and dandy. But also keep in mind, whenever you make a donation to a for-profit company, you cannot take a deduction for that. I see, Even right. though you intend it as a charitable yeah. gift, the company has a social mission or whatever, right. you cannot deduct that as uh, on your taxes yeah. unless it is a qualified 501c3 right. nonprofit. You right. cannot do that. Right. And a lot of people don't recognize that. They right. think, oh, right. this is an investment. I'm going to get stock. Yeah. And that's not, not right. what's happening. Exactly. Exactly. The new SEC rules will we'll allow that. that happen. Will allow and that. So, that's and, and that's where they set up now for the little investor to get into hot deals that they had to join a country club to do before. Bingo. That's exactly <laughs> right. Can, so, so those eBay sellers could have, under the yeah. new rules, per, per, uh, right. participated in eBay's public oh, offering back in the 90s. That's that's the beauty of uh, of this whole arrangement. And now, you're the guy who's going to keep us informed when exactly this happens and what the rules and regulations I should know because you got the book, Crowd funding handbook well, let's talk about that what i okay. have done here matt is i've written the first book that i'm aware of uh -huh. it tells you exactly step by step how to do a crowdfunded offering uh, uh -huh. under the new rules uh, i mean mm -hmm. there's books out there that'll tell you what the law is yeah. you know <laughs> but who reads law books <laughs> other lawyers that's lawyers, about it right, you know, yeah. people like me <laughs> you know i wrote a book that tells you step by step are you right for crowdfunding I is yours the right, right kind of company uh do you have a big enough fan base to do this because it's gonna it's gonna right. be costly it's right. not gonna be easy you can't just you know throw up a, a web a website and say here's my company right. i'm selling 20 yeah. percent for those much right. you're going to have to go through a very specific process you're going right. to have to register with a a funding portal which right. is a specialized website mm -hmm. that that is heavily regulated by the right. sec where you can put up your all your documents and people can look and investors can look at them it's it's a very very great what they're doing basically here matt is they're saying we'll let you guys do whatever you want but it has to be through one of these portals and we're right. going to regulate the hell out of every out of these portals but that's everything how we're going to protect to me, investors. it's all going to be open to everybody too so that yeah. would be not it, right it, exactly it's why everybody will be able to see this stuff you know right so the only rule needed. the only limit is that you cannot there at least under the current rules uh -huh. you cannot invest more than two thousand dollars a year yeah. in crowdfunded offerings right, right. but we don't it, know exactly it, yet until they <laughs> we don't, this is all subject <laughs> to being although that i think right. will stay the two thousand yeah, really? dollar limit i think is oh, going to stay
Good. Yeah, the biggest... Oh, wonderful, Cliff. I'll run out of time. So people really find out from your website. You're interested in this. Want My to get on and to do it. Yeah. That's Let's talk about it. The book is okay. called The Crowdfunding Handbook. handbook the, crowd, right. the Crowdfunding Handbook. Uh, it, you can pre-order it on Amazon now, uh -huh. believe it or not, although it's not going to come out until probably right. late fall. Um, and uh, you can find out more about it at my other website, which is succeedinginyourbusiness.com. That's my okay. nationally syndicated column. It's basically right. an, an Ann Landers for I small see, business right, owners right. and entrepreneurs. They Wonderful. they ask crazy questions, and either I answer them or I get somebody like you who really knows what he's talking about to answer them. That's basically so what I do. So succeedinginyourbusiness.com. That's well, it, Matt. Cliff, thank you so much. Thanks for keeping us up to date and everybody and, and expanding this opportunity because that's what it is for other people to take advantage of. What the hell's going on in this country? Because the fat cats will do it, and, and now it's for the rest of us. And now, and now the rest of us. This is, right. this is this is capital raising for the rest of us now, and I'm very excited about it. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Beth. Take care. Always a pleasure, Matt. Uh, Thanks.